Let's talk about 18 best foods for insomnia. You know what? More than a third, almost going towards a half of the population has insomnia or some kind of sleep disorder, doesn't sleep well at night. Check this out. Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist, get healthy now. Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. Well, today I want to talk about foods that help you to sleep, 18 diff best foods that help you to sleep better. You know, you know, one third up to a half, depending on who you read, of the population in the United States does not sleep well at all. And I have to say, doing consultations, is one of the things I rec ask is, how do you sleep? And I have to say, most people say terribly. And that's not good. It can cause lots and lots of problems because it can have problems with memory, chronic illness steps in, your brain fog, you can have your you know immune system go down, and all of a sudden a chronic disease comes in, on and on and on. On, you know how how much in the way of sleep do we need? Anywhere from eight to nine hours, depending on you know who we are. Kids need a lot longer, that type of thing. But before I get into more, check this out. If you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up. Please also subscribe. Please tell other people. Watch those little ads at the beginning. They bring us some money. We appreciate that. Also, you know, if you want to really get healthy and stay away from cancer, uh, read my book, Live a Cancer-Free Life. This is really, really important. Uh, you know, one-third going towards actually more, almost the half of the people are coming down with cancer of some kind. Really not good. Uh, it's much easier to prevent. And I've had a lot of great comments. I had people call me and comment on my book and say, great book. And also people say, this is my second Bible. Also people say, quick read, great, great recipes, all kinds of things. So if you want to keep away cancer, and I highly recommend you do get a copy of my book. You can just Google the title. It will come up. Well, here are a few foods that I really, really think can help in a great way. First of all, almonds and walnuts. They also help a, a lot because they have manganese and magnesium in them. But they do have a lot of fat, so could try to keep them, you know, to a minimum. But one ounce before bed, about 10 or 12 nuts. That would help in general and in a great way. Also, uh, some people say they help them to fall asleep faster and stay asleep longer. So try that out and see how it works. Also, they use almond extract with people who actually uh, didn't sleep well. And that also worked well, too. So if you happen to think that, you know, almonds would work for, well for you, you might try some of the extract. That might work also. Also, I want to throw in chamomile tea, even though it's not a food. It is an amazing thing. And having, you know, a, a cup in the morning, cup in the evening of chamomile tea, people do sleep better. A study in 2011 showed that people sleep uh, much longer and much fat. They get to sleep much faster if they have a, a cup of tea throughout the day of chamomile tea. Also, kiwi. Kiwi is amazing. Yeah, you know, really uh, taking a kiwi fruit uh, one hour before going to bed, people fell asleep 42% faster and slept 13% longer uh, because of all the trace minerals in kiwi fruit. And I love kiwi. I think they're just really great. Also, figs. Figs are amazing. Lots of potassium, magnesium, calcium, iron, and they help you to sleep better in general. So a little bit of figs, especially fresh figs, are really great. Also prunes. Prunes have uh, help with melatonin to help you to sleep. So, you know, one or two prunes in the uh, uh, just before bread bed can help you to sleep better. Also help you to move uh, your bowel movements in the morning, too. So that's a win-win situation. <laughs> also, honey. You wouldn't think honey would be on this list, but honey actually has glucose and lowers the level of orexin, which is a 
a hormone which actually makes you more excited and alert throughout the day. So you might want to take a little teaspoon or tablespoon of honey before you go to bed. That can help also. Grapes also contain melatonin, would help you to sleep well. And that's really important. If you take, you know, a half cup of grapes, and you know, half hour to an hour before going to bed, that can help in a big way also. Another food that can help you greatly for sleep is beans in general. And I have good old Goya organic beans here. And these are black beans. And beans in general have a lot of B vitamins in them that help with insomnia and alleviate stress and anxiety, and which is really great. Especially wonderful garbanzos or chickpeas. These are really great because they have tryptophan in them. So it's a really good source of tryptophan and very relaxing, and I highly recommend them. They can help you to sleep also. So there's a couple beans. And beans in general are a wonderful thing to help you to sleep. Also, sweet potatoes. They contain a lot of potassium, magnesium, and calcium would help you to sleep also. Tart cherry juice. You know, a study with a whole bunch of people actually taking eight ounces of tart cherry juice twice a day. They actually slept 84 minutes longer and deeper. So 84 minutes longer and deeper. That's twice a day, two eight ounce glasses of tart cherry juice. And also helps to get rid of your aches and pains. So that's a double you know, whammy there. You really you feel better and you sleep better. Also good old oatmeal and bananas and has a lot of magnesium and helps with melatonin also so that's another thing you can have a, a little while before bed also another one which is really great <clears throat> is this is lettuce lettuce is really great you wouldn't think so <laughs> but it actually has a hormone in it that helps you to sleep better so lettuce is great also good old Seeds, flax seeds, chia seeds, watermelon seeds, uh, all these are to be sunflower seeds. These are great also, and they have a lot of magnesium in them and tryptophan, which helps you to sleep well also. Also, kale. Kale is one of my favorite things, and I have to say, I eat a lot of kale. This is a flat leaf kale here, and really nice stuff. Highly recommend kale. Um, Really good. It has a lot of calcium in it, which helps you, and other trace minerals, which help you to sleep well also. There are also a few things you ought to stay away from uh, when you want to sleep well. Avoid, you know, spicy food and rich foods, really fattening foods, because they're going to keep you up all night. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> also, fatty foods in general, all those fried foods, you know, the, the big greasy hamburger, you might as well just stay up and play no Monopoly. <laughs> also, smoking, that activates your brain. And, that, you know, all that nicotine and everything really gets you going. Also, chocolate has caffeine in it, anything with caffeine. You know, many people are especially sensitive. For me, caffeine, I have a decaf in the morning. But after that, nothing because, you know, if I have one caffeinated coffee, I'll be, you know, up and around for about two days. I'm very sensitive to it. So caffeine and also chocolate has caffeine. So that's another thing, too. Also, cheese can make you very hyper. Also, red meat and tomatoes won't let you sleep. Also, start lowering down your fluid intake in the evening. You, know, you don't want to get up and go to the bathroom three or four times. That's not good. So uh, about six or seven, start, you know, lowering down the fluid intake so you don't have to get up so often. Also, avoid foods and drinks and contain, you know, any type of effervescence. I think soda is one of the worst things that was ever invented. Really not good. So these are a few things that people ought to avoid in general. Well, there you have it. If you want to actually sleep better, and if you were part of the, the population of the U.S. is not sleeping well, which is half of you out there, 
Uh, I highly recommend you start eating some of these foods in an hour or so before you go to bed, and this will make a huge difference. Or have a cup of chamomile tea. Really great, really no side effects. You know, it's been used for thousands and thousands of years, and I highly recommend it. I have other videos about herbs and supplements I recommend for sleep also. But this is the easy way. Let's go treat everything with food as much as possible, and it does work for sure. If you have some kind of chronic disease going on, you know, I reverse these things all the time. I have a man with diabetes. We reverse his diabetes right now. Also kidney disease. Two people with kidney disease right now, one in New York, one in, in uh, Houston. Also, I work with people around the world, people with lupus and MS and uh, all kinds of chronic problems, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, reversing those. So they can be gotten rid of. Give yourself a Christmas present. And allow, my rates are very, very, you know, super inexpensive for the amount uh, of time I put in with you because I don't want you to get healthy. And call me at 831 869-9119. It's all at the end of the video or hit show more down below and it'll all be there. And let's get healthy for the, the holidays. There's no reason to be suffering. Remember a couple of things. Remember God and remember I love you.